a Python chatbot using a simple or small language model? Let me guess. You are familiar with large language models or LLMs, or at least you have heard of them. An example is GPT, which is the backbone of ChatGPT. A part of the current AI revolution is coming from large language models. Speaking of LLMs, a critical question is, what is a small language model or SLM? A small language model refers to a language model with a lot fewer parameters, simpler architecture, or limited training data compared to LLMs. Small language models are faster to train and use less computational resources. SLMs typically have less capability in understanding and generating complex language. Can we create a chatbot using a small language model? Yes, that is exactly what we are going to do today. We'll write a chat model using an SLM. We will be using a very, very small language model, a language model so small that it might not even be considered a small language model. We will be using a Bigram model to create a chatbot. The chatbot we will create will require one word as a prompt and the bot will generate as many words as you ask for. The quality of the generated text will not be that awesome, but it is fine because today's entire practice is for clarity of how a basic small language model can be used to build a basic chatbot. I will use no neural networks. I will use old-fashioned NLTK library for creating the bigrams. A bigram is a sequence of two adjacent words from a string. Consider the string the quick brown fox. The bigrams in this string are the quick, quick brown, and brown fox. We are building a chatbot that will predict the next word in a sentence given the current word, all based on the bigrams that our simple language model saw in a bunch of documents. Another item, in the rest of the video, my AI-made clone voice will be speaking. Some say my clone voice is better than mine. Whether it is better or not, it saves me a lot of time, giving me the opportunity to make more educational videos like this one. Let us start. We begin with importing some essential libraries. First, we ensure NLTK's punct tokenizer is downloaded. This tokenizer is crucial for splitting our text into words or tokens. It will be downloaded the first time you execute it. Later, the program will use the downloaded version, if available. Next, we prepare to read our text data. This script reads from a directory named data, which should contain your text files. So, I have the folder already prepared. I actually wrote another program to create this folder with text files from the Reuters dataset. Here is the other program. I will provide a link to the data preparation program and the simple language model program in the description section. Ideally, you will put all your text files in the folder named data. We define a function named is underscore hidden to skip hidden files as it causes some trouble with GitHub or other hidden SVN files. Also, handling the hidden files is particularly useful when working in Unix-like environments where files starting with a dot are hidden. Now, let's process the text. We read each file, remove all punctuation except full stops, and concatenate the lines into a single string variable named text underscore data. Depending on how many documents and text content you have in the data folder, this might take a few seconds. The combined text can be pretty long. In my case, the combined text is more than 8 million characters long. After reading the files, we tokenize the text data into words, convert it to lowercase for uniformity, and generate bigrams. We calculate the frequency distribution of these bigrams using NLTK's function, freakdist. This gives us insights into how often each bigram occurs in our text. To check the format of the bigram contents, let's print the first five entries of our bigram frequency distribution. Next, we create a conditional frequency distribution of bigrams. This distribution helps us understand the likelihood of a word following another. So, this variable, 
by underscore gram underscore freak contains a dictionary against each word x, where the dictionary holds the second word of the bigram whose first word is x. The value field of the second word is the frequency of the bigram. As an example, we check what the bigrams of the word natural are. So, natural gas is a bigram that appears 216 times in the data. Natural rubber is another bigram that appears 39 times in the text documents in the data folder. All the bigrams whose first word is natural are here. Now let's focus on filtering our bigrams. We'll keep only the top three most frequent second words for each first word of the bigrams. You can play with this variable top k to allow more words when you are generating the next word when given a word. I am getting the top three words using a min heap data structure provided by the heap q module. Using these filtered bigrams, we create a new conditional frequency distribution. This refined distribution keeps top k words, in this case top three words, as options to become the next word given a word. Now we define a function named generate underscore sentence to create text of this many words. Starting with a given word, the function picks the next word based on our bigram model creating a chain of words. Let's test our model by generating a sentence starting with the word natural. We are asking for 100 words. And there you have it. Let us read the generated text. Natural rubber agreement to be made by an increase in a New Zealand's full stop the dollar. That reads really funny. We can try other words that exist in data. Try with stock. Try with the word bank. And try with a few other words. This is a basic but powerful bigram-based language model built in Python. This simple language model is a stepping stone for more complex NLP projects. More sophisticated models slowly started to use recurrent neural networks, long short-term memories, and, with modern large language models, transformers. But you now know what a basic chat model looks like using a simple language model. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more AI adventures.